Hey everyone, I thought I would do a video and I thought I would try out a Friday Reads because I haven't done one before and I really wanted to try out try out the Friday Reads thing because it looks really fun and yeah, I thought I'd, I thought I'd try that out. So what I'm reading is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, but on my Kobo, have a hard copy of it but I also got it on my little Kobo mini here um, I usually download um, the books that I have if if they are on um, ebook so um, I can take it around especially since my backpack broke so I've been using this really small one because um, the my laptop right here my laptop here um it was really big bigger than my um backpack so i had to sort of squish it in there and it it did not agree with my backpack so it decided to tear it to pieces and it's it it holds it holds still but the top part of it is like ripped open so i don't want anything wet to get inside there especially since it's getting toward the winter months and it's usually really rainy here in Canada so yeah I don't I really don't want any of my stuff to get wet so yeah um but anyways getting back to the book I'm about 200 pages in and it's it's really good it's just Maybe I hyped it up too much in my mind because it's just, it, you, I got pushed right into like a really action packed thing right away and it's just different from what I'm used to because um, most of the action packed stuff doesn't happen until like um, later in the book and since it was thrown in right at the beginning of the book, like um, with some books it goes like that but it wasn't like this intense I think so yeah it's just it's just really different so um I'm reading it a little bit slower uh, I don't know why because it is a really great book and it's one of those books I feel like I should be reading faster but for some reason I'm not and I really need to fix that so yeah um it's really good it's just that I think it's because maybe of the feelings maybe it's either um, it's either because I got pushed right into the really action-packedness or maybe it's because of the feelings that I'm having because when I read my characters I usually read and see through their eyes and um, he has some negative thoughts in there so maybe I'm a little bit angry thinking of those thoughts. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just different from what I am used to. So, um, so it's really different. It's just that maybe like, I'm not saying that it's a bad book, but maybe because honestly, I think that those feelings would m make the book that much better and it makes the book what it is, you know, but, um, it's just, it's just really different from what I'm used to. And, yeah, um, it's, it's a really good book, though. I, I'm, um, if I do end up finishing it before the end of the weekend, um, I'll probably end up picking up the next book, which is the Ask and the Answer in the series, uh, or I would choose one of these two books. The first one is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. It's a really nice edition has this like um cardboard wooden I, I I think it's cardboard like a really nice it's really nice so um has like silver writing at the side and then I'll show you the book it has like a really nice silver cover and then um it also has like silver pages like um it's not like written in silver it's like regular writing like let's see open a tiny bit regular writing and regular paper it's just that the pages on the outside are a little bit colored 
So I, it looks really cool, and um, so it's a really nice addition. I also got a Christmas Carol in the this ad sort of edition type thing, um, because it looked really cool too, and I really wanted to read a Christmas Carol, the actual book, instead of like, cause I've seen uh, a Christmas Carol in like um, in in like different like movie type things, um, like around Christmas time, there's usually like many different cartoons that sort of, um, give their version of the A Christmas Carol type thing with the Scrooge and the three ghosts and all that stuff. So I know, um, basically what the, what the story is, but I've never actually read the story. Um, but anyways, um, I got this and I heard really good things about it, so I thought I would give it a try too, so I might read this if I finish the Knife of Nair Letting Go before the end of the weekend, or maybe I'll read Charm by Sarah Pinborough. Um, the thing with this book, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this book because the first, I wouldn't call it the first book actually, the book that was made before this one, Sarah Pinborough has lately been making fairy tales and they're more adult versions of fairy tales. So this one's an adult one. And then the first, the other one called Poison was of Snow White. This one, Charm, is of Cinderella with the glass slippers and all that. So um, the first, well, I keep saying first. It's I don't think it's really the first. Um, the first published book, I guess you can say um, the ending didn't really go well with me. I, it didn't set well with me. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get this book, but after a while it sort of did set with me and, and my feelings for it set a little bit better. And I'm sort of ready to have those feelings again. And I also heard that this one is better than the, um, the other one, on Goodreads, it says that it isn't a series, but on some reviews, people say that, um, that you need to read the other one before you read this one. So, I don't know, I, I, I guess they go together, but they're not really series type thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, I heard really good things about this, and I wasn't sure if I was going to pick it up. I I kept looking at it, and I was like, I really want to buy this, but I'm not sure. So I bought it, obviously, because I opened the front cover, and I read a few sentences, and I was just like, all right, I got to buy this. I got to buy this. So I did, and yeah... So these two books, or maybe the Ask and the Answer. Um, so, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So, bye.